10 million Americans, mostly women, are suffering with fibromyalgia. Patients often endure years of surgery and medications like opioids. Recently, there's been a bigger push to help identify how to cure fibromyalgia. Even Ohio State University is working on a blood test to verify this is a cause of chronic pain. But a UTMB doctor thinks he's made a discovery that could also treat it. Channel View mom Maria Pena says she can't pinpoint where pain is coming from because it radiates all over her body. It hurts to even talk or swallow. Um, it can be neck bone pain or rib cage pain. Um, it hurts to breathe, um, elbow pain, all kind, joint pain, muscle pain, nerve pain. She says she's had eight surgeries, taken many muscle relaxers, medications, injections, and many days are spent in bed. Some days are worse than others. Right now, there's no cure for fibromyalgia, but UTMB Dr. Miguel Propola, professor of neurology, hopes to change that. He says fibromyalgia pain is often associated with neuropathy pain, similarly found in patients with high hemoglobin A1C. A1C is how prediabetes is determined and treated with insulin-resistant drugs like metformin. Dr. Popola noticed his patients with fibromyalgia had improvements with pain when taking that same drug. People with insulin resistance can develop a form of neuropathy called small fiber neuropathy. And some uh, research teams think that this form of neuropathy may contribute to the pain that patients with fibromyalgia have. He says this doesn't mean people with fibromyalgia also have insulin resistance, but there are some correlations that need more investigation. Pena was not part of the study, but says she's hopeful something this simple could one day be the cure she desperately wants. To alleviate some of the pain that I go through on a daily basis would really help. Because mm -hmm. at, at this point, it's just, you know, I, I take it a day at a time. So Dr. Popola's research looked so promising in the initial phase that it is now being evaluated by other health agencies. It could take several years before there's conclusive evidence to treat fibromyalgia patients with insulin-resistant medications, though.